O oh God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heavens poured down the rain. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. A God who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our high priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation and by his equality with you, free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officials had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, do it not, to stop teaching in that name. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring his man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus. Through you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as a leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, He saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all, the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. 
Alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. But the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life. But the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, as I read today's Gospel, I ask myself, what place does God have on my priority scale? The first or the last? Jesus tells Nicodemus that he who comes from the earth belongs to the earth and speaks of earthly things. But he who comes from heaven is above all. Usually, the human being has a scale of value, which ranks from highest to lowest, or from the most important to the least important. On this scale, there are those who put God first, but but the contrary, there are also those who do, the, who do the opposite and leave God in the last place. But at the end, when there is a class of values and a very important decision needs to be made, we tend to cast God aside. For example, every time when we used to go to confession, and confess to the Father that we miss Mass on Sunday Mass, so Sunday Mass, or the Mass for an obligation. So we put God in the last place and we prefer not to go to church on Sunday. That's what I mean. The Gospel says that God grants us his spirit without measure. That is, he does not ration his grace. However, we human beings do ration our service to God. And even we receive in a rationed way the grace of God in our lives because we are afraid that his complete will be done in us. Brothers and sisters, reflect today upon what your life would look like if you let God do whatever he wanted with you. What would change? How would you lay daily life, your relationships, your words, your actions, and your future be different? Intellectually speaking, we know it's right to fully embrace the will of God in all, in all things. But when it actually comes to doing it, there is often much hesitancy. It may be fear of the unknown, or it may be that we do not fully want to change. To change. Whatever the case may be, God is offering you an unlimited amount of grace by the full outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It's up to you 
to decide if you will ration or not. Brothers and sisters, together we join our voices as we turn to the Father in complete faith and trust to present our needs. For the Church and her leaders, may God's grace fill them with strength and enthusiasm in spreading the Easter message. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in positions of authority, throughout the world. May the Lord guide them in the ways of peace, justice, and conflict resolution. Let us pray to the Lord. For those burdened with physical, emotional, or mental pain, may God's loving grace heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. For each one of us, may the Lord's Spirit help us to focus our hearts on embracing his word and nurturing our lives of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of our brothers and sisters who have died, may God welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear our petitions, which we offer in faith and trust that you will take care of our needs. In the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. May our prayers raise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is a true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, or we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia.
let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of, the, of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now receive this blessing. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.